In this video, we'll be converting decimals to fractions and percentages. So our first example here is 0 0.5. So to convert that to a fraction, it's equal to 5 over 10. The reason for that is, the first place after the decimal point represents tenths. The second place after the decimal point represents hundredths. The third place represents thousandths, and so on. So if the first place represents tenths, then 0 0.5 is the same as 5 over 10. If we break that down to its lowest form, 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 10 goes twice. It's equal to 1 over 2, or a half. Next, to convert it to a percentage, just multiply the half by 100 over 1. So 1 by 100 is 100, 2 by 1 is 2, 100 divided by 2 gives us 50%. So 0 0.5 is equal to a half, or 50%. Next, we have 0 0.62. So you can see, 0 0.62, it's 6 tenths and 2 hundredths, or 62 over 100. So when there's two places after the decimal point, we just put the number over 100. If there's three places after the decimal point, we just put the number over 1,000 so on. So it's 62 over 100. Break that down to its lowest form. Divide above and below by 2. We get 31 over 50. To convert that to a percentage, it's 31 over 50 multiplied by 100 over 1. 31 by 100 gives us 3,100. Divided by 50 multiplied by 1, which is 50. When we divide that, we get 62%. You might spot an easier way of getting the percentage. It's 0 0.62, which is 62 over 100. Percent means per 100, so it's 62 over 100, which is the same as 62%. As you get more practice at these, you spot these shortcuts for figuring out percentages. But the method that will always work is multiplying the fraction by 100 over 1. Here we have 1.47, so convert that to a fraction. So there's two places after the decimal point, so we just put the number over 100. So it's 147 over 100. So that's our fraction. We can't break it down any further. There's nothing that will divide evenly into both numbers. So if we want to figure what that out, If we wish to figure out what that is as a percentage, it's just 147 over 100 multiplied by 100 over 1. So that gives us 14,700 divided by 100, which is 147%. So again here you might see the shortcut. It's 147 over 100. So that's the same as 147%. As I said, you'll recognize these shortcuts as you get more practice. Finally, with 0 0.355, so there's three places as after the decimal point. So when we convert it to a fraction, it's 355 over 1,000. If we break that down to its lowest form, 5 goes into both. So it goes into 355, 71 times, into 1,000, 200 times. So you've got 71 over 200. To get the percentage, 71 over 200, multiplied by 100 over 1. That's 7,100 over 200, which is equal to 35.5%.